Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am gonna go through everything that I regretted buying for my newborn and what wasted my money. I love watching these videos myself and I thought I'd put my own input in because you can never have enough of people's opinion of what worked and what didn't. A quick note that I wanna say as well, if you've noticed that this is not the normal cot that we normally have, we used to have a like brown wooden one. It has now changed. There is a room tour of the nursery coming up in about two months because we are just redoing the whole entire nursery. We never got to decorate before beforehand so that is why that has changed behind me and yeah let's get into the video so the first thing which we don't actually have anymore because we sold it as quick as we bought it is the mam sterilizer and bottle warmer after reading really mixed reviews i probably should have just listened to the bad reviews on this one i really love the mam bottles i just hated this sterilizer and bottle warmer so how it works is you have the sterilizer part of it which goes into the wall and it works on electric then you have to take it all apart to do the bottle warmer side of it so first of all straight out that's just faffy. Going from a steriliser to a bottle warmer every single time you want to warm your bottle up or sort out your bottles, to me that's just too much faff. Then when it comes to the bottle warmer side of it, which is what I really really wanted it for, for the night feeds and just to make life easier warming up your bottles, it gives in the instructions the approximate amount of water that you need to put in there for however many ounces of bottle milk that you're making. Already sounds complicated. I spent about three weeks before Lila Rose was even born trying to work out that if I was making a five ounce bottle I needed this amount of water so that it warms up the bottle correctly. And to be honest I wanted to throw that thing out of the window because it never actually heated up a bottle at all. So man bottles and dummies, honestly, I love them, but the actual sterilizing bottle warmer, that's a no from me. The next thing is my bouncer. I think a bouncer is brilliant. I think you should go out and get a bouncer for a newborn because it just keeps them entertained for those short times where they're not in your arms. But the reason I didn't like my bouncer is because it was all beige. There was me thinking, oh, it's gonna go with the house because it's beige. Yes, it went with the house, but the baby doesn't like it because it's beige. Why did I do that? Don't get me wrong, you might have a baby that absolutely loves their beige bouncer. Mine just doesn't find it interesting whereas if you give her nice colorful toys she loves them so yeah if I was going to do it again I would buy something really colorful really engaging and something that's gender neutral for if I have a boy as well so number three is cot bumpers so as you can tell behind me obviously we don't have any cot bumpers but I thought I'd put this in because we basically bought them and then we refunded them immediately so I didn't actually realize this I went out and bought the whole entire set of the cot bumpers that go with this duvet right here and I came home couldn't wait to put it on and then we ended up having a midwife appointment the next day she was going through all the safety information of sleeping and the first thing she advised was do not use cot bumpers Obviously, I didn't really realise being a first time mum, but the idea is that they can suffocate themselves during their sleep. I was really worried about this. I know some people out there that do use bumpers and that's absolutely fine with them. Fair enough, it is everybody's personal opinion, but for me, I just don't want to take any... Oh, my light's flashing. It's back on again. That was random. Where was I? Um... Yeah, I didn't want to take any risks, so they just got refunded immediately, but we did keep the duvet because I love that. Obviously, when she starts to sleep in this cot, this will get taken off and it'll just be the mattress so that she can't get suffocated underneath the duvet as well. Along the same lines of sleep, number four is a sleeping bag. Obviously, there's grow bags out there and I know that these are really popular and to be honest, I think it is a really good idea. I get very anxious that anything's going to happen to Lila Rose when she's sleeping and obviously my eyes can't be on her all the time. So to be honest, the reason why I didn't use this one is because I liked using the cellular blankets with the holes in, the breathable blankets, because I just like to know that she's completely safe, everything is breathable while my eyes are not on her, and I think that's just a little bit of paranoia from my side, to be fair. The other reason that I don't put her in this is because you can't really regulate her temperature. Our room goes from just cool to stuffy in a couple of hours. So through the night, I do tend to wake up just checking on Lila to make sure that she's not getting too hot, not getting too cold. And with this one, I just worried that I wouldn't actually be able to regulate her temperature. So it is quite thick. It was a 2.5 because she was meant to be a winter baby. It actually ends up being quite stuffy in our room. So I know lots of people use these and they love them. But for me, it was just something that I didn't end up using. Number five is a dummy. And these are the MAM dummies, like I said, I really do love MAM bottles and dummies. The only regret I have with these is that we went out and bought loads before she was born and she didn't actually take to a dummy at all. She takes them on odd occasions, um, I think more to do with the fact that she's teething and she wants something to chew on. But 
I do regret going out and buying lots of dummies. I'm glad I didn't buy the dummy clips that we were looking at because we just wanted it all ready to go. I would suggest that you just buy one or a pack of two dummies and just try them before you actually go out and spend lots of money on different dummies. Just try one first and just see how your baby takes it. If they like it, then go out and buy more. Number six is, I'm not really sure how I feel about this one to be honest, is a nursing pillow. I bought this second hand because I didn't really want to spend loads of money on one. I wasn't sure whether I was going to be breastfeeding or bottle feeding, but I did think this was going to be good for either way. I just thought it'd be a good support for when I'm feeding her, no matter which way I choose to feed her. So I ended up actually choosing to bottle feed from day one and I tried using this twice and it was just a nightmare. I don't know if it's because it's second hand, I don't really know what the brand is or the make, I don't know if you go more expensive, they're better, I really don't know. But for this one, I just found that it was in the way, it was just really uncomfortable, it was too much of a faff to try and get it right, and when you've got a screaming baby, that was the last thing I wanted to do, was just faff around with a pillow. So I ended up just taking one of my bed pillows, I just folded it underneath my arm, and I still do that now, and that supports me absolutely fine. So for me, that was just a no-no. So number seven, and I've talked about this in like three other videos, Videos, but I will mention it again because it's a big regret is lots of outfits for my newborn and booties as well. These are the booties, I don't know if you can tell on camera, they're nice and pink. So these are the booties that I showed in the what's in my hospital bag for baby and I was using them for her coming home outfit which I will insert a picture here. They might look great on the picture but immediately they ended up falling off straight away and she wasn't even wriggling, they just fell straight off her feet. So I've said it time and time again but boots, socks, just spending loads of money on different outfits. When it came down to it, she was in sleep suits all the time, so she did not need socks, she did not need boots, and it was just such a faff to get her in and out of outfits when she was constantly puking, pooing. You ask people, I think the majority of mums will say that they kept their baby in sleep suits for the first kind of eight weeks. So that's all I suggest. Mainly stay away from your booties really for a newborn. The last thing I'm gonna talk about, and I'm really not sure if I want to include this, but I am gonna include it, is my changing table. So I'll insert a clip now of my changing table, which I have shown you in other videos. And this is something that I do use every single day, but for some reason I'm just having second thoughts about it. Even though it is really practical for, to be able to just put her down instead of kneeling onto the ground and changing her bum and it's all upright, you don't have to get down on your knees, there's no uncomfortableness. But despite all of that, I do find it takes up a lot of room and it's just something that I wish I kind of did what a lot of other YouTubers do and a lot of other people do, where they had their changing mat on top of a chest of drawers. It makes sense, you've got all your nappies, everything that you need underneath in the drawers below. You've got your clothes if they have a punami and you need to change their clothes, it's all in the drawers below. So even though it's something that I use every day and I do love my changing table, I just wish I thought about it a little bit more for the fact of saving money, for practicality, for saving space as well. I wish I did it that way. So there are my top regrets for a newborn and I'm sure I will have some for the three to six month range as well. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel and you'd like to then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave because it really helps to support my channel. Take care everybody and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!